how did you get on in the challenge? Hopefully you managed to complete it. If not, don't worry. I'm going to take you through how I built it and then do a little bit of refactoring afterwards. As always, I've got my index.html set up here. I've got my scripts included. And in this case, I've got my style sheet included as well. Let's go ahead and start building the example. So as always, I'm going to start by naming my component. In this case, I'm going to call this one counter challenge. And we're going to use the react library to create a class which, as I'm sure you know, takes an object specification and this must implement the render method, which is a function which simply returns the content that we want to return. This should all start to be getting really familiar now. Hopefully you're building your own components and really getting an understanding of exactly what you need to do when you build React classes and components. So I'm going to return a div and inside this div, I'm going to return a h1 with the count. And this is going to have this dot state dot count. This is our total count. As I covered in the state lecture as well, obviously we're going to use state because it's going to be our dynamic value. And we're going to update the state. Then of course, I've got a button. And this button implements an on click method. In this case, it's going to be this dot increment count by one. So whenever we click on this button here, it's going to call the increment count by one function, which is going to increment this dot state dot count by one. Go ahead and close this off. There we go. I'm just going to stick with one button for the moment just to show you how it all works. I'm also gonna stick the class names on here as well, just so it looks nice. So BTN and then blue BTN. And then on the div, which is my container, I'm gonna use class name container. Okay, let me close that with my semicolon. As you know, whenever you create a React component, you need to render it to the DOM. And to do that, we use the React DOM library, which, as you know, has a render method, which takes two arguments. The first being the what, essentially. So what component are we going to render? In our case, it's going to be the counter challenge component. And then the where, which is obviously going to be the div with the ID of app as it has been in all my components. So document dot get element by ID of app. So we've got a very basic component built here. Obviously it's not going to work because we don't have any state at the moment and we don't have an increment count by one function. So let's go ahead and build those. I'm going to start with get initial state so that before the component gets rendered, the state has a count property on it. We do this using the get initial state method. Hopefully you managed to get all this right so far or close enough. Obviously I expect your code to vary a little bit, but kind of have the same general idea. As we know, get initial state returns an object that simply has the property and the value that we want to have on it. So in our case, count and zero. So now when the component gets rendered, it's going to have a this.state.count on it. So this should be zero. We are then, of course, going to increment the count by one. I'm actually going to put this under get initial state. I like to put the component methods in the order they are called, which we're going to cover in a later lecture. So just know that any function that you write on the component gets called after get initial state. So in this case, we're going to do the increment by count by one function. So increment count by one. This is of course a function. 
don't forget your comma at the end there. And in this function, we are simply going to change the state of count. So we're going to change the state of the component and we're going to change the count property every time this button here is clicked. It's going to call the increment count by one, which is going to use this dot set state, which of course just returns the state that we want it to be. So in our case, it's going to be count this dot state dot count. So the current value, so from the start, it's going to be naught, and then we're just going to increment that by one. So each time this button gets clicked, increment count by one gets called. So this function here, and of course this function simply sets the state of count to be one larger. So that's it. That should be a working component that increments the count by one. Let's check it out in the browser. Oh, and it looks like we've got an error. So counter challenge is not defined. So that must mean I have spelt this incorrectly. Ah, oh, so this is called count challenge and this is called counter challenge. We all make mistakes, even me. And there we go. So when I click on the button, the count increments by one. Excellent. Hopefully you managed to do that. If you manage to do this, you're pretty much set. Because obviously, we're just going to copy the button for each case, i.e. for the five and the 10. So we're gonna increment count by five in this case. And we'll give this a class name of btn green btn and add five. Let's go ahead and implement the increment count by five method. So underneath increment count by one, I'm going to write increment count by five which of course is a function. Don't forget the comma. And then within this function, I am simply gonna set the state using this dot set state. And I'm gonna take the count and the current count on the component and add five to it. So yet again, anytime this button here gets clicked, it's gonna call the increment count by five function, this one here which is going to call this.setState. It's going to take the current state's count property and add five to it. Let's go ahead and do exactly the same for the increment count by 10. So this dot increment count by 10. Give this one a class name of BTN and I believe it's purple purple btn and add 10 and close that off. Let's go ahead and implement that method. So increment count by 10 is a function that simply takes this dot set state oh, and changes it to this dot state dot count plus 10 and again don't forget the comma oh I've used class rather than class name there obviously remember that in react to give a element a class name a CSS class name you need to use the class name keyword rather than the class keyword so now we've got this all set up so we should have three buttons each of which increments the count by a different value. So one, five, and 10, and then updates the count. Let's check it out. So we've got our three buttons. We can add one, five, and 10. And there we go, it's working. Hopefully you managed to recreate the component 
or get very close. Maybe got stuck on a little minor error or a minor issue. As I said, don't worry. Keep practicing. The more you do it, the more components you make, the better you'll get. In the next lecture, I'm going to refactor this component a little bit because obviously this isn't very great. We're having to hard code in the value and we are reusing code over and over again. Well, not reusing code, sorry, copying code over and over again, which is not very great. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please like, share and subscribe. If you've got any comments, suggestions or ideas for videos, leave them in the comments below. Send me a tweet at codewithtim or send me an email, codewithtim at gmail.com.